हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन सपोज यू आर मैरिड एंड यू एंड योर पार्टनर अटेंड ए पार्टी विथ थ्री अदर मैरिड कपल्स सो लेट्स रिप्रेजेंट द यू लेट मींस यू रिप्रेजेंट एक्स एंड योर स्पाउस रिप्रेजेंट एक्स बार पार्टनर अटेंड ए पार्टी विथ थ्री अदर मैरिड कपल्स सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम यू देर आर थ्री अदर मैरिड कपल्स एज वेल इन दार्टी लेट्स रिप्रेजेंट दैम एज वेल वाई वाई बार मेक्स वन कपल जेड जेड बार मेक्स अनदर कपल आर आर बार मेक्स अनदर कपल सेवरल हैंडशेक टुक प्लेस नो वन शुक हैंड्स विद हिमसेल्फ or with their partners that means x is a person who is present in the party but x cannot handshake with himself as well as x cannot handshake with his partner no one shook hands with the same person more than once for example x do handshake with the y but later on again x cannot handshake with the y second time so there are, there is only one handshake between the two the peoples After all hand shaking was completed suppose you are asked each person including your partner for example the uh, people came into a party and they hand shake with each other and every person gave a different answer when a person is asked let's suppose x asked to y how many hand shake you did x asked to x bar how many hand shake you did so, uh, so y will give different answer x bar will give dif different answer and every person in the party will give the different answer how many hands they had shaken they all they will share the numbers how many hands they had been shaken each person gave a different answer so here is a cricks you need to understand that every person gave a different answer how many hands did your spouse shake let's suppose that x will ask this answer to everyone else how many hand shake they had been shaken along with his partner so let's identify how we can solve this question let's suppose x at one place x we all know that x will not going to hand shake with himself or with his wife so x can hand shake with y x can hand shake with z x can hand shake with r x can hand shake with r bar x can hand shake with z bar and x can hand shake with y bar as well so total hand shake had been done by the x the number will be 6 now let's come to the another y so as you can see y already did hand shake with x now y can cannot hand shake with himself and y cannot hand shake with his wife y can hand shake with z y can hand shake with r y can hand shake with z bar y can hand shake with r bar so total hand shake had been done by the y 1 2 3 4 5 so total hand shake done by y equals to 5 and 5 number is different from the 6 number let's come to the z Z already handshake with X and Y. What else? Z cannot handshake with himself. X cannot handshake with Z bar. But X, but Z can handshake with R, and Z can handshake with R bar. So total handshake done by Z equals to four. Likewise, we can write down here total handshake done by X equals to Y, Y bar, Z, Z bar, R, R bar equals to six numbers next we have y in the list y already done handshake with x so we may write here x now y handshake with z z bar r r bar total handshake written here five next we have r r already done handshake with x and y what else r can handshake with z and z bar total handshake done by r equals to four next we have z bar let's take the z bar first z bar already done handshake with x and y we can write here like x and y and then r to make it different from these numbers because these number cannot be same we have to take care about this as well now r may handshake with x and y already r is present here x and y r already handshake with x and y and r bar no r cannot handshake with the r bar but r can handshake with x and y and 
this number is x bar because we already include the r here so x bar can handshake with x and y not more than that so total handshake done by r bar equals to 2 next we have y bar y bar y bar already handshake with x so we can write here x to make it different we only handshake is one we will count under the y bar next we have x bar which which handshake with no one so total value will be zero so total handshake here so we can write that zero one two three four five and six if a person asked to other old person how many handshake they had been done so we can write here and the old numbers are different you can see six five four three two one and zero now make it a pair let's suppose there is a uh, couple and one person is asked to the other old person how many handshake they had been done including his or her spouse so let's make the pair of total six handshake maximum a person can ha handshake total values will be six so make a pair like six and zero make a pair so it will become a couple a one couple one person in a couple shake hand with all other and one person shake a handshake will be none now next pair will be uh, you can add the values like uh, four and two will make a pair five and one will make a pair so who left with the unpaired value that is three so we can see that spouse uh, total handshake done by the spouse will be three which left the unpaired so answer for this question will be three